<laughs> What's up, everybody? We back, man, with some film. We out here in somewhere. Uh, today, y'all, we're about to make a video. We're gonna be making a video today talking about the compound setup on the truck. I know a lot of you guys have been messaging me, asking me questions about the compound setup. How am I enjoying it? One second. A little piece of dirt in the truck. How am I enjoying it? Do I like it? All that stuff. Today, I'm gonna be talking about it. It's been about a week, and about two weeks actually, since I've had the compounds in the truck. So far, I love it. I mean, when I say I love it, I love it with a capital L, man. You guys do not understand, okay? So, got the truck all cleaned up. She's looking good. Got her dialed in. Man, she looks good. But uh, yeah, we're gonna be taking her for a trip. Going on a little trip. You guys saw that little pull I did at first, at the beginning. I just did that just a second ago. Uh, we're gonna go ahead, drive around for a little bit. Nothing, nothing crazy. And I'll let you guys know my experience, man. She looks so good. I haven't seen a truck this clean in such a long time, man. Went ahead and polished up, polished up the wheels. I tried out some new tire shine from Meguiar's. I think it's called like their Endurance Shine. It's actually really good. It's good stuff. You know, matter of fact, let me show you guys. Pop the hood for y'all real quick. So there you go. S366, S480 over under setup. Piping everything. It's a tight fit, but it's I love it, man. I do not regret this turbo setup at all. Uh, the piping, it's just beautiful, man. It's so beautiful. Engines been running good. Super good EGTs, everything, man. I love it, y'all. That'd be a nice little thumbnail photo. Alright. Go ahead, hop up in the come daddy. We're gonna take off and Oh man, safety first. Gotta throw that seat belt on. I need to clean the glass on the inside. Gotta do that when I get home. All right, you guys, so we're in the truck right now. Just wave to somebody. We're in the truck right now, you guys, right off the bat. Oh, by the way, if the sound is kind of weird, I apologize, I have the window down. I'm getting the AC fixed tomorrow. So we'll have some AC, we'll be sitting good, all right. All right, there we go. So yeah, so right off the bat, you guys, uh, first things first, is this kit worth it, you guys? And I'm gonna tell you, yes, it is 100% worth it. Uh, my truck is completely different. It, it, it is a legitimately different truck, you guys. Like, you don't understand, man. Uh, I just finished this morning, I took it to get an alignment because I had to get my third alignment in my third month because i finally got the new track bar on i mean i had it on since the last time i made a video but i had to get it on and uh you know i got another alignment so she's driving straight so good right now uh i love it but so for the compounds you guys let's see the drivability and when i say that i mean driving in city man between the compounds and the gearing, the 430 gears, this truck, man, it drives, it drives so good. Like, I cannot, I'm not making this up. I'm not BSing, trying to over-exaggerate. It really, truly drives good. It really does. Uh, spool up is good. It's instant. Uh, right now, I'm cruising, going about 50 miles an hour, and I'm at three pounds, four pounds of boost. Uh, it, it hits so fast. I mean, I'll give you guys a little something real quick. Once I come around this curve, see right there we're at about six or three right now my foot's like not even on it so I took my foot off the accelerator and it's just that one PSI which is normal you know and then I get into it about quarter throttle and she just pulls man she can get it it's ridiculous I'll one more thing I forgot to mention the smoke on this, it's non-existent, it's, it, it, it's not there. Uh, it's pretty nice, I like it, I like it. I've never been a big smoke fan, just because it puts a bad rap on this. Like, I like to see it at the tracks and stuff, but driving on the streets, man, when you wanna lay in your truck and not smoke the hell out of somebody, it's actually pretty dope, so that's something else I forgot to throw in there, too. So in regards for EGTs, uh, my exhaust gas temps, I'm gonna be 100% honest, I haven't seen a huge drop in them. Um, I think, in all honesty, this truck had good EGTs prior to the second gen swap. 
all the air mods, you know, boost, uh, intercooler, intake manifold, all that type of grid here, delete. Yeah, good boost, man. It was, this truck never had an EGT problem. Um, I do believe, and I haven't been monitoring it super crazy, but I have been keep my eye on it. I do believe I've seen about a 100, 150 degree drop in EGTs. Like right now, I'm in fifth gear locked up going 45 miles an hour, and I'm at about 600 uh, degrees EGTs. That's good for me, um, you know. Anything under, so I have, I've had a few people ask me, you know, when should I worry about EGTs? And to be honest with you, there's, they was telling me that they were around 1100, 1200 while towing for like a while. And I'm like, hey, that's fine. Like, it's gonna be okay. Now, if you're pulling and you're at like 15, 1600 for a long duration, that's when it starts to get a little, a little sketchy. Um, but my rule of thumb is, is that anytime you're under 1300, you're good yeah, overall. Um, every engine is gonna differ you know what i'm saying like it, it varies engine to engine but uh it, you know it's just one of those things but egt's are looking real good on here the highest i've gotten them up to is about a thousand eleven hundred when i get on it uh tune so i've been experimenting with each tune level for this setup this turbo setup and if you wanted to if your question is can i run this setup on stock fuel the answer is yes you a hundred percent can run this setup on stock fuel and that includes towing and it's a 360 I, now i know you're probably saying well that's a 366 and a uh, s480 like isn't that kind of big it is but here's what happens the 366 has a ar of i, I think the ar is a one is a 0.91 it's really small it's tight uh it also has a 80 ooh, I don't even remember. I don't even remember the full specs on this thing. One second, I can look it up for you guys. Okay, you guys, I looked it up. I had it in my text messages with Matt Crockett over at MDC Diesel. Oh, that just reminded me. Setups. Okay, you guys, I have to stop for this. I'm at a. I'm at another gas station again. Okay, setups. So first things first is we have a lot of subscribers on the channel that are new. You guys don't know it. I'm probably one of the only, if not very few, YouTubers in the diesel community that will actually save you legitimate money on a turbo kit. Okay. If you go to mdcdiesel.com, MDC, I'll have a, every video has a link down below, but I'll put it in the video somewhere. If you go to mdcdiesel.com and you get a direct turbo drop in, a second gen swap kit, or these compound kits, you will save $100 on it. Like a legit, it will, you put my, my code, everything diesel in, and it's gonna take off $100. Now here's the kicker it's a one time use code, so make sure whatever you buy, it's what you want okay because after that i don't know if i'll be able to help you out but i don't know i might but anyways uh yes all my turbos come from smedden over at mdc diesel now you can go to smedden directly but if you go directly to smedden smedden and mdc diesel they're like this they're brothers they're, they're, they're essentially brothers um not physically or you know genetically but you know analogy wise uh you know you can mac is the compound expert he's a, he really is the, the turbo dude he's my turbo guy any turbo questions I have, uh, I always go to Mac. He's, he's the one who got me set up on this setup. So if you guys want a turbo for a good price, this compound setup right now, not this exact one, but if you want a S362 over S3, S475, we can get you that, and you will be looking at about 21, 2200 bucks for the entire kit. I'm sorry, 2400 bucks with the manifold included. The entire kit for about 2400 bucks, and you would have compound turbos in your Cummins. Five, nine, six, seven. Now, it stops at third gen six sevens. They don't have it, uh, it's not designed to fit a fourth gen Cummins. I'm sure you can make it work, but you're probably gonna have to do some crazy fabbing and stuff, so I'm just throwing that out there. Uh, but yes, you can get this turbo set up. Uh, so, specs. So, I got it on my phone here. So, specs for the turbo. My upper turbo is an S366, as you guys know. It has a 73 millimeter turbine housing with a 0.91 AR area ratio, or some people say aspect ratio, whatever. Uh, the S480 is the S480 96 turbine housing millimeter with a 1.32 AR, okay? So yes, it's an S366, but it is a tight sucker. What that means is the reason why it's tighter is because you want that initial fast spool up, okay? That off the, off the line, when you touch the pedal, she's making boost. 
by having that point nine one AR with that seventy three millimeter turbine housing, it's going to spool up ridiculously quickly. Okay, it, it's unheard of, you guys. So that's where the quick spool is coming from. And then, as you guys know, how a compound setup works. Once you start to get to your mid high range uh, RPM bands. That secondary turbo, also known as the atmospheric turbo, is going to kick in, which would be the S480. And what's cool is you can—you can't hear it on camera, but when you're driving in a truck, you can actually hear when the S480 starts to spool up. And when it does, it's pretty legit, you guys. It's pretty legit. Um, I'm just cruising right now, so you're not going to hear no whistles or anything crazy like that. Let's see if we can get a little scream going. experimenting with my tune levels um tune three was a good tune it burned a little more fuel uh, than i would have liked on my previous turbo setup tune five was the best tune for power and economy i don't know how but it was um i have not got a tune update yet with this setup i'm still using the old tunes that was with the 467 but the thing is and you guys tell me about this okay uh i have tuning from ctt tuning I sent in a file to get a revision update for turbos for my compounds and they told me that the tune file setup I had on the S467 would work fine with the compound setup. Now I'm no tuning expert or nothing by no means, but does that sound right or should I have gotten a new file? Um, I've been tossing the idea up in the air a little bit about switching tuners just because I'm, I would like to have somebody that tunes in the state. Uh, I've been looking at Firepunk, considering them. I've had a couple people talk about Starlight tuning, so uh, I love CTT tuning. Don't get me wrong, now I love it. They they make some good tunes. The truck, this truck, I have never had an issue with this truck due to tuning. So uh, I don't know. You guys, let me know what you think about that. But yeah, we're just cruising down the back road right now. Uh, this truck, man, it's fun. It, it, the simplest way to put this turbo is fun. Okay, uh, you know, you're probably gonna wondering about my trans setup. Yes, it's still a stock trans. Uh, yes, I know I need I need a transmission. Okay. Hey, if you want to buy me a built trans, by all means, hit me up. I will set you up my PayPal, and you can drop the money in my PayPal account. <laughs> but uh, we do have something in work with the transmission. Uh, we're actually going to be going with Red Horse Transmissions, based out of Denton, Texas, with Dallas over there. Uh, so last week I was doing some work with Dallas out in Texas. This is where I was last week doing some work with him, uh, first time meeting him, awesome guy, awesome man, uh, the true definition of a businessman and an entrepreneur, man, he's a down-to-earth cool cat, I love the man, um, but we're going to be going with a war, uh, red horse transmission, most likely the war horse 750, uh, it's good up to 800 horsepower, and then eventually we're going to upgrade to the war horse 900, which is like a thousand plus 68 RFP build, okay? I'll talk more about transmissions later, but for now, that's that's what's gonna happen. Um, but other than that, you guys, really, man, like, this is it, y'all. This is it, man, somebody just waved at me. Uh, she drives good, it pulls like, a, I, what I really wanna do, what I really wanna do is, I wanna hook up a trailer. Um, I wanna hook up like a 10,000 pound load or something, and see what these compounds are about because everybody knows compounds are notorious they're good they're known for being excellent tow machines and tow setup turbos and whatnot so uh yeah and then also something else i learned too i did research on this because i was curious compounds versus twin turbos there are two different things compounds are you're pretty much mix and matching turbos to work together in harmony twin turbos are two turbos feeding so compounds one turbo is feeding your engine. Twin turbos is twin force injection, or force induction, sorry. So you have two sources of induction feeding your engine at the same time. Uh, so that's the biggest difference between twin turbos and compounds, if you guys wondered. I didn't know for the longest. Everybody uses it, uses the terms out of, out of context and stuff. So I, I figure, you know, if you guys like that, you know, it is what it is. But yeah, you guys, so, I'm not gonna have a bunch of crazy videos of me doing like insane pulls and burnouts and 
going crazy because one, you guys know that's not my driving style. I've never been that guy to just dog the crap out of my truck. I do have fun in it and I will, you know, make a couple pulls in it and whatnot. But I'm not going to sit here and just beat the living crap out of it. Uh, also, we need this transmission to make it to Texas because what's going to happen is, well, I just gave one of the things away. We're going to be driving this to Texas to get the trans built. Um, full behind the scenes of getting the 68RP built the right way. So that's going to be a cool video. I don't know when it's going to happen. Okay, I don't, but it will happen. Um, but yeah, so we need this transmission to last us uh, at least until the end of the year. And this transmission is giving me no problems at all. Doesn't slip. She pulls hard. She, she gets up and goes, man. Like nothing's wrong with this transmission at all. And it's kind of like, why would I spend a bunch of money right now to fix it when it's not broken? type deal, but it needs it done, so it's going to get done. But, alright you guys, so we're driving right now, man. If you guys enjoyed this video, the compound review setup, please smash the thumbs up button. It helps out so much on the channel. If you stuck out to the end, comment and tell me what you think about the video. If you enjoyed it, uh, I would love to hear your opinions. Would you run this setup, uh, compound setup on your truck? Uh, or would you run, you know, a, a smaller setup, a bigger setup? This setup right here is good for about 1,200 horsepower. If you, do, if you do a 362 with a 475, that's about a 750 horsepower setup max. Now, when I say horsepower setup, I don't mean that's what it's making. I mean that's what it's set up. It can go up to, okay? Right now, if I had to be a betting man, I'd probably say this truck's sitting at about 600, maybe high fives. I'd say high fives, low sixes. Uh, 630 max on tune five right now. I, I feel like, which is a fun truck. Don't get me wrong, it, it is a extremely fun truck to drive. So, it is what it is. Uh, also, stay tuned, we're also gonna be having, show you guys real quick, we're gonna be doing a follow-up review. It's been about a month since I installed the CTS-3. Had a couple hiccups, uh, a couple, couple things went wrong, but Edge took care of it. Uh, everything's working really good right now. The only thing that is still not working correctly is exhaust back pressure which at this point I don't even care about no more uh, but yeah so we're, we're gonna be doing this stuff and yeah stick around you guys I'll be catching up with y'all soon all right so until next time you guys take it easy be safe I hope you enjoyed the video be sticking around make sure you subscribe because we're gonna have some dope content coming up soon and until next time you guys take it easy be safe and peace out